Hi, I'm Dr. Rajdeep. I'm a dermatologist and dermatosurgeon working at Chirag Hospital in Bangalore. It is summer season. It is very hot and all of us are sweating a lot. I get a lot of patients in summer who come to me with a prickly heat rash. I give them some sort of treatment and it subsides in about a week. But all my patients ask me, "Doc, how do I avoid this prickly heat rash?" How can I avoid a visit to the dermatologist? So let us understand what causes this prickly heat rash. Your body is filled up with about 4 million sweat glands. So there are areas in the body like the face, hands, the armpits and the groin area which have more sweat glands than the rest of the body. So when these sweat glands start producing too much of sweat and the skin gets soaked with sweat the opening of the sweat gland becomes soft the soft opening of the sweat gland gets easily blocked causing collection of the sweat under the skin if the sweat collects very uh, superficially under the skin it causes a uh, asymptomatic or the patient doesn't have any itching any burning sensation but it causes small rashes on the skin which resolves on its own if the sweat collects at a deeper layer it causes lot of redness itching which is commonly called as a prickly heat rash as doctors we call this rash as miliaria rubra if the rash occurs at a more deeper level especially for patients who keep getting this rash repeatedly then it can form pus filled lesions as the body starts reacting to the sweat present deep in the skin so this prickly heat rash generally is found on areas with sweat more like the armpits the hands and the soles it's generally found more commonly in children in children it is thought to be found more commonly because their sweat glands have not developed properly and it's also found more commonly in places in countries like ours which is a tropical country which is very hot and humid especially in summers so summarizing the causes of this prickly heat rash one is there is too much temperature so there's too much heat and humidity causing increased sweating the second is the sweat gland getting blocked and the third is the body's reaction so when sweat is leaking out into the skin the body produces a reaction which causes itching and sometimes formation of pus all over the skin